and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss higher purchase. Now higher purchase agreement means you are going to purchase something from a company but you are going to pay them off in certain amounts of installments. Higher purchase is always simple interest. So whenever you see the word higher purchase you must know immediately I am talking of simple interest. The difference is they would ask you how much is the person paying per month or they would include things like um, insurance or deposits which a slight change in the original question but the work and calculation is very similar. Now let's do the following example. Right, when we have an HP we usually look to see is there a deposit because sometimes in an HP they'll say the person had to pay a deposit of so much. In this case there is no deposit. So we continue to read. They say that he buys the computer for 11,000 Rand. Now 11,000 Rand is our P. It is what he is starting off with. He then takes out an HP loan. Now as soon as they use the words HP higher purchase we immediately know they are talking of simple interest. So when they use the word HP, write down your formula so we know which formula we are going to use. Then they continue to say that he is going to pay it back in monthly installments over two years. The two is giving us the N. His interest rate is 15% per annum. Now when they are saying 15% per annum, it means that our I is 15% over a hundred. Now how do we calculate what is his monthly payment? Before you can calculate his monthly payment you have to be able to calculate A. Okay so we first write down our pain, we substitute what we have then we go to our formula. In our formula we are putting in all the information that we have. So we now have A is equal to 14,300. What does that mean? That means that John is going to pay the company back 14,300. But now they had mentioned something specific. He is going to make monthly installments. Now if he is going to take it over two years, then how many months are there in two years? There are 24 months. So he is going to take the 14,300 and he is going to divide it by 24 because they had said two years. So you are going to take 14,300 divided by 24. So his monthly payment back on the interest and the loan is going to be 595 rand 83 cents. But continue to read and what do they say? That per month he is going to pay an insurance of 12 rand. That means his payment is not just 595 rand and 83 cents. On top of that amount he is going to pay an insurance of 12 rand. So his final amount is going to be 595 rand 0.83 cents plus 12 rain. Which is a total of 607 rain 83 cents. Now, when you're doing higher purchase, remember, higher purchase is always simple interest. Number two, read the instructions clearly. Let us look at the following example. I have changed it slightly in the sense that I had said that he has to give a 10% deposit. Now when you are doing higher purchase, a higher purchase is a calculation of the amount that you loan. So which means when you give a deposit, 
you are not loaning that money from the bank. Let's start. Number one, you have to give a 10% deposit of what? Of the cost of the product you're buying. So it's 10% of 11,000 Rand. Now in your calculator, you're going to press 10 and then you can use the percentage button. Off means times 11,000. Or you could say 10 over 100 times 11,000. That will give you 1,100. This is our deposit. Now if you gave a deposit, that means you're not going to take a loan for 11,000 Rand. You're going to have your 11,000 Rand. But you're going to subtract 1,100 because you've already paid it. So you're not going to loan that amount. So what are we going to do is we're going to say 11,000, subtract our deposit and the total amount that we are actually loaning. is 9,900. That becomes our P. So we're going to write down our pain. Our P now is 9,900. Then we have that it is still over two years, giving us an N of two. Our interest rate, 15%. And we need to calculate A. So we write down our pain and then we know the formula is simple interest because they had used the words higher purchase or HP. Because they had used the word HP or higher purchase, we immediately know they are talking of a simple interest formula. We then substitute what we have. giving us a value of 12,870 Rand. Now, did we answer the question? They say, calculate his monthly payment. Okay, so if you look at the first question, okay, if you look at his first question, they specifically want his monthly payment. Now, going back to the style of the question, we know that the amount is 12,800 Rand, but he's going to pay it over two years. So we're going to say 2 times 12, which is equal to 24. We then take the amount and divide it by 24. Which gives us 536 Rand 25 cents. But don't forget. He then pays a monthly insurance of 12 Rand, which means on top of this amount, I have to add 12 Rand. So his total monthly payment is 548 Rand and 25 cents. Now look at the difference. In the first one, it's 607 Rand, 83 cents, because we didn't have a deposit. But in the second one, it's 548 Rand and 25 cents. Now, let us continue and add to this question. How much is the total amount that he paid for the computer? We know that he's paying 548 Rand per month. And we also know that he is paying it for 24 months. So we can say 548 Rand, 25 cents, times 24 is equal to 13,158. But that is not all that he paid. He also paid 
a deposit in the beginning of 1100 so you need to add the 1100 to this amount giving us a total of 14258 usually when they give you a deposit or when the question has a deposit one of their favorite question is what was the total amount paid back? And the reason for that is because many pupils forget to put in the deposit. Thank you for watching.